summer before I met you. Good afternoon, it's Stefan in the dining car. The dining car is now closed for lunch service. A little later on this afternoon, it'll be coming around doing dinner reservations. Dinner is by reservation only, and I'll be coming around to each and every one of you at your theater. Okay.
building a bunch of new freeways. Trying to process the building, right? Hmm? Can't get that one. <laughs> Car back, the downstairs on the lower left. Oh, okay, thank you. You are welcome. there, Pat. What? That house. Oh, the... um, castle. Okay, I'm going to 
What else? A short one. why you're overpaying your money on ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. This has been a presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source. ABC News, now always on. ABC Tonight kicks off 98 with a special group and the showdown with Mimi's jealous boyfriend. Were you looking at my girl? When'd you get out of prison, like an hour ago? Get ready to meet Snoop Doggy Soul Man. Christian rap. Word up. Go Soul Man. Go Soul Man. ABC. You're watching KATV Channel 7, the spirit of Arkansas. This is Channel 7 News at 6. A former Boy Scout leader says he's guilty of raping five boys, all under the age of 14. Good evening, I'm Chris May. And I'm Karen Fuller. Since his arrest in October, Charles Jack Walls III has maintained his innocence. That is until today. Facing six charges of rape and four other charges, including solicitation to commit murder, the former Boy Scout leader decided to let a judge rather than a jury decide his fate. But as Joan Early found out, today's plea is anything but a plea bargain. Without his bulletproof vest, but still in his own clothes, 51-year-old Jack Walls walked to court with limited security. The death threats had died down. Inside, his victims and their family members waited for words they expected to hear. Jack Walls is guilty. He signed a statement pleading guilty as charged on five counts of rape. There is no plea agreement. Uh, there is no agreement, uh, there's no number of years discussed, but we felt it was in the best interest of the victims and in the best interest of justice to be assured of a guilty plea. The judge ultimately makes the decision on whether uh, sentences run concurrently or consecutively, and so we bypass the guilt phase and we'll move straight to the penalty phase. It's a phase many victims and family members are weary of. While the guilty pleas are a relief, some, including the grandmother of Heath Stocks, say the damage runs too deep. Stocks, a former scout under walls, is now serving a life sentence for murdering his parents and his sister. May God help him in their days ahead because it's going to be hard for all of them. Some of the lives are ruined forever. Their minds are so warped by what's been done to them. My fear is that the judge will let it all run together and he won't get enough time out of it. 
Walls will have a penalty phase hearing before Judge Lance Hanshaw on January the 27th. The judge will then impose his sentence on February the 4th. Walls could face 10 to 40 years in prison or life in prison for each of the five counts. He will also have a hearing to face the other five charges against him on Thursday. Karen. All right, Joan. Thank you. Chris. Last week we told you about another possible incident involving a woman stopped on the highway. Dave Woodman. Wayne Dumond asked the state post-prison transfer board today to release him to a Christian based transitional home in Florida. He told the board that the Florida home has agreed to accept him. He says he doesn't have a specific job waiting for him as the board said it would require. Dumond also said he would not apologize or express any remorse for the crime he is accused of committing. Dumont was granted a parole last January when he had a job in Texas, but the legislature in the Lone Star State blocked his entry. Dumont was convicted of the 1984 rape of a Forest City teenager. After five guilty pleas earlier this week, former Lone Oak Boy Scout leader Charles Jack Walls III. Back in court this morning, Walls will be in the Lone Oak County Circuit Court today for a hearing relating to five more felony counts, including rape and attempt to solicit murder. Tuesday, Walls admitted he molested youngsters in his scout troop. All four women who say they were victimized by a former Little Rock restaurant owner will be allowed to testify in his trial next month. 31-year-old Len Yates is accused of spiking the drink of one of the women with Rohypnol, the so-called date rape drug that can cause short-term memory loss. Three just ahead. Plus. I'm Paula Hennessy. Both sides in the case of a woman accused of dumping her baby in a trash bin. Drivers are there in our state. A new program reveals numbers that may shock you. Isaiah Carey reports. Thousands of people get behind in $50 while on duty. Officials with the Little Rock Police Department are refusing to release any information on the internal investigation. News 4 has learned the officers were serving a warrant at a home when they allegedly discovered $250 on a dresser. The two are accused of stealing the cash and splitting it. However, we're told one officer allegedly confessed. News 4 talked to that officer by phone. He said, I can't talk about it. I've been advised not to talk about it. If I could, I would. I know that doesn't sound good for me, but I just can't talk. The second officer told News 4, I'm not worried about it because I didn't do anything, and I'm sure I will be cleared, but I can't say anything. Both officers have been on the force less than five years, and both work as patrolmen out of the downtown precinct. Now, we're told by insiders here at the department that the officers may, the case against the officers may not be strong because the homeowner where the cash was allegedly stolen from has not come forward, Steve. All right, Isaiah Carey, thanks very much. What is next for the officers? Once the internal investigation is completed, the case goes through the chain of command. The chief will make a final administrative determination. If terminated, the officers can appeal. A Little Rock police officer no longer faces felony charges in Oklahoma. Bartlesville police originally arrested Corey Hall, saying he pointed a gun at another man. Today, the prosecutor dropped one felony charge and reduced another to a misdemeanor. In turn, Hall is expected to plead guilty next week. The original arrests came last July after officers said he got angry at a man visiting his estranged wife. An anonymous phone call and an autopsy report add new twists to the case of a baby found abandoned in a trash barrel. Paula Hennessy joins us live from the State Crime Lab with more. Paula? Denise, prosecutors met with medical examiners at the crime lab today to go over those autopsy results. The results were inconclusive and will likely never know the exact cause of death of little baby Jane Doe. That means no additional charges will likely be filed against Arden Wilson. We are not going to file homicide charges against her because there was no evidence that could be adduced that would show that the child, beyond a reasonable doubt, was a live birth. The autopsy also shows high levels of alcohol in the baby's system, as well as a drug called propopoxifene, a depressant. It's believed the mother took the drugs before giving birth. Arden Wilson is charged with abuse of a corpse, but she denies the charges. What's more, Wilson's attorney says she got an anonymous call yesterday, telling her who the real parents are. The woman indicated that she's from the Bologna area and knew um, of a woman that was pregnant during this time period, very pregnant. Now, Attorney Maples has handed over the names to prosecutors, and they plan to investigate the allegations. Denise? Paula, thank you.
A former Lone Oak Boy Scout leader pleaded no contest today to a sixth count of rape after pleading guilty to five others Tuesday. Charles Walls III will be sentenced on all six counts January 22nd. The prosecutor today made moved to not prosecute four other lesser felony charges. Walls faces life imprisonment for each rape count. Rejected by the state of Texas, convicted rapist Wayne Dumont now says he wants to go to Florida. Dumont made his annual parole appearance before the post-prison transfer board today. He says a Florida facility has agreed to accept him. This Christian-based transitional house helped. No opening statements today while the judge and the attorneys uh, try to figure this out. Is it uh, considered that Kaczynski is just using this as a ploy, maybe just to drag things out, Laura? Well, not, not so much to delay the trial, but to make sure that uh, he gets a chance to make his point in this trial, that he gets a chance to uh, tell the jury about his views. Uh, presumably, if he is the Unabomber, those would be the anti-technology views that uh, we heard about uh, for 20 years uh, with regard to the Unabomber. So uh, that is, I think, what his strategy is. Uh, he does not want to be portrayed as mentally ill. As he wrote in his journal, he does not want people to think he is, quote, a sickie. And now a, a, a sick uh, alternate juror could even uh, cause a further delay, delay we understand. That is another issue today, Dave. Uh, an alternate juror called in sick, and, and so the judge uh, raised that issue. We're not sure, though, in light of these other circumstances, how much impact that might have on a delay. Uh, we do know that there will be no opening statements today. We don't know when they will be.